Happy Sunday. I shared the food in a couple, oh my gosh, this music, pardon me. That food, so let me answer, let's back up. Happy Sunday. Last night I went to the party and I was not, see, I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, the cook, the chef, is not really a chef. He's not trained. He just loves to cook. With that being said, he puts out better food than a lot of <laughs> a lot of restaurants. His cooking never ever disappoints. Ever. It is top notch. I wasn't there when they planned this whole thing because I didn't realize we were celebrating birthdays. And I'm, just between you and me, the cake I made yesterday <laughs> was a total flop. I accidentally did not put enough flour in it. So it was a sign. It was a sign not to take the cake. I didn't. And then when I showed up, he had that ginormous homemade cake. Thank you, because I, 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 mine was unservable. Unservable. So the first course was a soup, and I can't remember what kind of soup it was. Absolutely divine. And then he brings out the Osco Buca with, with risotto and some gravy on top. Delicious. And then he brings out that cake. That cake was homemade. Homemade from th the start. He layered, actually, let me just show you. <laughs> let me back this up. <laughs> the cake was so good. I only managed to eat half of a piece. And I had to leave because I had to let bug out. And I was gathering my stuff. And Glenn said, hey, did you, did you want to take a piece of cake home? And I had, I had already packed <laughs> my half a piece of cake and had it ready to go buy my purse because that is not going to be wasted. Not even, I know this probably doesn't look that appetizing because there are little crumbs, but let me tell you, this is homemade cake. Then there is a layer of cookie dough and then that is mocha buttercream frosting with some of these little crumbs in between. And that's called the crack part of the cake. And then we've got another layer of vanilla cake, another layer of cookie dough with the crack, the mocha frosting. It, it, he could sell this. It, yeah. Mm. We had a lot of fun. We always have fun. There were eight people there. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five of us are tennis players. And Rob couldn't make it. He, he could not make it. But Glenn was gracious enough to send, actually, a dinner home for Rob. So that was so nice. My whole thing is, is that we're going to have them over to our house. And you know when somebody <laughs> sets the bar so high like this to cook? That, that's, it's, I bring Trader Joe cheese, homemade cake. Walmart to pick up a couple things and I found these pajamas. I am a, a sucker for a good pajama, so let's take a peek at this. This is a long sleeve, I think it's called a French Terry. It is the softest, long sleeve, comfortable pajama top that I think I own. I also wanted to show you the pants. These are a thick fleece PJ. They have the cuffs around the bottom, pockets, and they also have the tie right here. These run very large. These are extra small. These are super thick and come in a lot of different colors and patterns. About this super fun set. Currently online, these are sold out. But this happens a lot. I go to Walmart, I find something that I really like, not online, and the week later, it comes back. This is a Henley long sleeve top. It is super soft. Some of this material 
isn't, but this is. This is a size medium, so this is true size. And let's talk about the pants. The pants are also the same material. Cuff, pockets, tie. These are medium. I could have gone with a small, so I need to go back and get the small. But this comes in a lot of different styles and patterns. One more thing, <laughs> I brought these home and Rob said, those are slippers? I said, yes, these are slippers. Look at how cute these are. These are mucklucks. They're not heavy, they're not stiff. They are so comfortable on the inside and they're also really comfy on the bottom. I think they look so cute with a fun pair of pajamas or just to wear around the house. Come on, Goofy. It's not quite nighttime, but I think you're ready for, <laughs> you're ready for bed. <laughs>